Could West Ham offer Tilo Kira another chance at the club? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the West Ham Network. My name is Anton, bringing you some uh, information for you this morning. So I hope you're all well. If you haven't seen it already, last night, Manchester City defeated Tottenham at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to be advantage Manchester City, who of course take on little old West Ham at the weekend. And if West Ham do do something over Manchester City, then Arsenal would have to win and then they would receive the Premier League title. Um, nothing more than a win for Arsenal. They have to win in order for them to get the title um, and, and then hope that West Ham do them a favour. So it will be interesting to see what happens this weekend, of course. But I'm not here to talk to you about that. I'm here to talk to you about the man you will see in our thumbnail, and that is Tilo Kira. Now, Tilo Kira, of course, joined West Ham um, a couple of seasons ago, and he was in and out of the team, and I felt really sorry for him, if I'm being really honest, during his tenure at West Ham. He played a mixture of a, a centre-back um, trio when we played three at the back. He played the left-hand side, then he played right-back of a back four, then he played left-back of a back four, then he would play the right-hand side of centre-back. You know, an all-round defender, but sometimes I find that when you are a player coming into, a, a you know, your new country, etc., that um, you're going to need a run of games in particular in one position. And that's the thing I think about the mismanagement of Tilo Kira under David Moyes is his mismanagement of not giving him, you know, not, he kind of threw them in under the, under the bus from the start, but he wouldn't do that with other players like Skamaka, for example, you know, waiting to bed him in, but, forcing Tilo Kira into uh, um, his his position at West Ham. And I think he was harshly cheated by some West Ham fans at the start of his career because he did have a few errors that led to goals. But essentially, I thought he was actually a very, very good footballer. Um, and I think that maybe this loan deal that was agreed with West Ham to send him out has worked wonders for Tilo Kira, but has had a negative impact on West Ham. Because there's no ifs and buts about it. We have been struggling for defenders, struggling for people who can perform at that level. And now Monaco have qualified for the Champions League. And Tilo Kira has been a major part of that journey for Monaco. You know, since joining them, he's actually played 14 league earn games, um, building up one assist. But what's really interesting, what's really, really interesting about Tilo Kira is. He, since his debut, he's completed the most passes for Monaco, the most longest passes, the most interceptions, the most clearances, the most blocks, second on the list for touches, second on the list for aerial duels, second on the list for headed clearances, second on the list for tackles won, and second on the list for crosses blocked. He has been an all-round defender for Monaco, and he stood out. Um, to be, uh, you know, a, a real stonewall quality defender for Monaco. But I wonder if he's not made for the Premier League. And essentially, can he come back to West Ham? Now, what's interesting is there's so many different variations of how his deal was made. People are saying that his six months loan deal, which was apparently a fee of around £500,000, um, had an obligation to buy of around £9 million, £10 million. And that would be achievable targets that he met or the club met or the club allowed for him. Fabrizio Romano said that the loan will have a mandatory buy option clause in case of specific targets. We're led to believe that those targets have been met, but we don't know for a fact. However, I can only imagine with Champions League qualification, then that probably means that his chances of coming back to West Ham are very slim. His chances, chances of coming back to West Ham are going to be extremely slim, not just because of the deal I've just mentioned to you, but 
let's look at it in the other way. Champions League football or no Champions League football, happy and settled compared to not being happy and settled. I think he was harshly treated. I think you probably all think he was harshly treated. It looks like he's not going to be coming back to West Ham, probably get a permanent deal, probably get 10 million quid through the door for him. But this is probably another one of those that's like, oh, w w where did it really go wrong? And unfortunately, it is down to David Moyes not wanting to work with a larger squad. Um, Thilo Kira, though, in terms of his playing ability, I think that he would have probably longevity of the Premier League struggled to be a centre-back. Um, and I do believe he probably would struggle again at um, West Ham or in the Premier League as general. But I think what we really need to look at is doing our due diligence on a player, and this is really essentially where Tim Stiden comes in in charge, at, at, you know, Someone knows exactly what we're looking for. Now I can I can I can forgive a mistake or I can forgive um a player not working out, but you, what you can't forgive is it feels like sometimes not doing your due diligence and why sign a player if you're not gonna give them regular game time or you're gonna mismanage them and use them out of position. Essentially, he ain't coming back to West Ham. That's not dead certain until we get the final confirmation. Next time we're going to get some money and we're going to have to go out there into the market and buy some other players, um, which we all expect us to do. But this season, could he have been a success at West Ham? I genuinely believe he could have been. Could we have utilised him better? Yeah, I definitely think we could have done. But we'll never know. We'll never know. And he's off in his career now in League 1 and we'll have to wait for this deal to fight be finalised. Um, but the mismanagement of Taylor Kira is another one of those ones on a notch of... Um, David Moyes' belt that could go down and go, really? What, what, what could have happened if? And what could have happened if he did this? And what could have happened if he did that? Anyway, short and sweet one for you. Join us for the West Ham Daily later on and take it easy. Come on, you